All right, you've made it to part three of how to create uh, a table of jobs to share with others. So in the first section we used, well, I showed you how to use the uh, web, the Notion Web Clipper. In the second section, I showed you how to clean up the data in the table. And in this third section, I'm gonna show you how to sort and organize the data into a really presentable format. So once this data lives in a certain way, we can now reference it uh, from another document. It's, it's effectively, um, we have access to the data. Uh, and if you think about it in programming languages, we can call into this database and show and even modify the data differently. So here's our, uh, our, day, our raw table of jobs. But I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna create a new file. Uh, and I'm gonna, a new page. And this one's gonna be called um, Meet Our New Grad Job. And this is gonna be our front-facing job, our front-facing uh, page. So I hit enter and then I hit this plus sign, which gives me the option, the ability to add a new section, a block in Notion parlance. And this is gonna be link to a page. Oh, I'm sorry, link, create a linked database. So I click on create to a link database and it pulls up all my other databases. So here's Rad Jobs collection. Now, does this look familiar? It basically inserted my table, a link to it, but again, if we change it here, we'll change the table, because I own the file, uh, into uh, our new Rad Jobs page. And I'm a geek, so I always like to clean up uh, these pages so that they look nice. Um, I'm just cleaning the formatting, and then I'll put an emoji for a job. Don't worry if this is too, this is uh, for a separate lesson, but just cleans everything up. I'm just gonna widen our screen just so it helps me uh, keep everything in the same place. All right, so here's our table. Now I wanna add a view. And when you click on add a view, you'll see we can make this a gallery, we can make it a list, we can make it a calendar, we can make it a, a Kanban board, which is like Trello. Uh, I'm going to make this a gallery. And then I have to give it a name here, so I'm going to say uh, Rad Jobs Gallery, and then I'm going to hit Create. Now, you'll see it turned each of our sections, each of our pages, each of our records into um, a little card. Now, a few things we need to do here. So. First, uh, if you see this role here, I created a placeholder for a role, but we don't really want that role yet because it's, it hasn't been filled. That was more a note that I said. So we can create the, we can, cre we can filter and sort the data that appears here. So I wanna filter out this New York Times role. And so what I'll do is click on these three dots and it's gonna give me a bunch of options. One of them is filter. So filter will then let me add a filter on any field in the data in this database or this table. So I click on add a filter. And so I know that if I didn't put a, if the location field is blank, then don't include it in my table. So I click on, so I'm adding a rule here. If the location field is not empty, then I wanna show the data. And then I click out and there you have it. So that New York Times placeholder is gone because its location field was empty. And you could sort by any, you can filter by any field you have there. So that's the first thing. But I also, you notice it's missing our sectors and our locations. So that is a result of um, their, when we wanna change the properties of this view. So I click on the three dots then I click on properties, and then it gives me these little toggles for all the different fields we, we have added in our database, in our table. So I'll add experience, so you see it popped in entry level. Um, oops, I'll go back to properties. I'll add location and I'll add URL so that you could click into the URLs. Um, and I'll add industry. I don't wanna add created because it's just gonna tell me the date which I created it. So I'll untoggle that. Now, 
what's up with these ugly ass graphics? So, um, here's what's going on. What this card is doing is it's pulling the first image from the page, which was a copy of the website, and making that the image for our card. So in this MasterCard role, it didn't pull out any image. And so what I'm gonna do, watch this little hack. I'm just gonna go grab the MasterCard logo. So I'm gonna Google MasterCard logo. And then I'm just, just grab this one. And then I'm just going to uh, quickly screen grab it using command control shift four. You'll see as this come up, I grab it. And then watch what happens when I just paste it into the, I could be anywhere in this. This is the MasterCard page. I paste it in, watch me click out. Booyah, how you like me now? So that's the uh, MasterCard one. And here we'll do the same thing. This grab, because this job post was as like a blog post. So I'm gonna grab Digital Currency Group. I'm not familiar with the company. Digital Currency Group logo. There, oh, these look nice. I'm gonna grab the black one to mix it up. And so again, I'll click on, you could save the file, but Command Control Shift 4, copies to clipboard. You'll see me grab the screen. And then I table back in here. If I paste it above, you know, I'm gonna delete these just to be safe. Um, and then I'll paste it in. And let's see, it should. There it is, click out and watch. There we go. Now, here's a little trick. See how the logos are kind of screwed up? I could go into my three dots and again go into properties and I can say, it'll say fit image. I'll toggle that and it'll center the image nicely. Uh, I could also change the size. I could make them smaller or I could make them larger. We only have three, so let's keep them large. And then I click out. And last thing, if I wanted to sort them, I added these recently, but if I wanted to sort them by, sorry, I did that fast. If I wanted to sort them, I'd hit these three dots. I'd click on sort. And then I'd add a sorting rule. Let's say uh, date created, uh, descending, uh, ascending. And you see we added MasterCard uh, last, and so that one will show up first. And there you have it. And now last thing to note is we should then go and share this page with our friends. So if I hit share up here and I hit copy link, page link, boom. That image is on my clipboard and I could go into my web browser, for example, paste it in. And we've got ourselves a beautiful freaking website. Meet our new rad jobs. Uh, it doesn't lock the view, but the user could then lock the view. Actually, let me show you how to lock the view. So what hap What you just saw was that Notion got confused uh, because it has two views. And so I could, what I do, this was my table view. And this is my, what I'm gonna do is just delete this view. And that way it will always default to this view. Again, this is a page that references our table. It's not the original table. So now let me go back, paste it in again. Boom, there you go. Now, I want you to think about how you could use this approach. You could use, I used it for a job board. You could use it for travel tips, restaurant recommendations, book reviews. You could even create an entire blog post like this. So um, play around with it. And uh, like I said, if you have any questions, hit me up. Thanks.